Crane here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. As far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. The word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station.
Fuck you, asshole. Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. It's you again? I mean, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We have been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch. Crane? You're Crane, right? Kyle Crane? Yeah. Erwin Snowberg, movie director. I make these zombie annihilation movie series. Yeah, you've probably seen them. Uh, no. Yeah, they're thought-provoking meditations about people very much like yourself who have to kill buttloads of zombies for various reasons. The details really aren't important. What is important is production cost. Makeup is a major factor. I'm talking head rot, arms falling off, guts hanging out. And when you blow them apart with guns, those squibs cost like crazy. So you've come to Haran? It's a tragedy, of course, but there's a fortune in special effects shambling through the streets just waiting to have their heads blown off for my next movie, Zombie Annihilation 4, Dying Lunch. <laughs> All I need is a gun nut who can drop in spectacular numbers, and I am told you are just such a man.
Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antizen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antizen. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Oh, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Look, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to... You're Alfie? That's me. Electricity. Building maintenance. I keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's the problem? Well, it's good news, bad news. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, do you need it switched back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. Then you throw the master in the main station, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. After dark? That's, that's gonna be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long.
Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little Antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. to the airdrops. Grace takes everything away. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty Antizin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. Now you better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. They will catch them! The throats! Lena had to step up! Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor! Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Fucking rice. It's men who always. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to. You're Alfie? That's me. Electricity. Building maintenance. I keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's the problem? Well, it's good news, bad news. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, do you need it switched back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. 
Then you throw the master in the main station, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. After dark? That's, that's gonna be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little Antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the Antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now, we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. What's the point of the airdrops? Grace takes everything away. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty Antizin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. Now you'd better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. They will catch us! The froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. We saw all the free running. Wait, that was you? Bracken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. 
Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? Scout from the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not... helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... then we'll talk about what Ryze wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. 
Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Like, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay, and listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Jade knows where we might be able to get more antis in. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. People are counting on you to help them out. Please, don't just stand around. Do something. I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so... The short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Jade knows where we might be able to get more antis in. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. Wow. Now I can receive transmissions from all the districts. 
There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. People say that somebody turned on the antenna towers. People are counting on you to help them out. Please, don't just stand around. Do something. Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim? We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. That's rude. Oh, God, don't talk to him like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get off the radio. It's going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you! Idiosyncratic, great. I thought we were done for. Thank you.
boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Great question. If it's Antizen, we need it. Here. That 
guy should die in a fire. We... Fuck. Where'd she go? How many bandits are inside? I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately.